beautiful thing. Chefs take inspiration from countries and cultures all around the world. Jerk chicken. Here's Jamie Oliver cooking jerk chicken successfully. But what's got the culinary knives sharpened for him today is this product of his, punchy jerk rice. One MP accusing him of cultural appropriation, of basically using the term jerk just to sell stuff without the right ingredients. For Jamaican chef Levi Roots, there are two must-have flavours of which Oliver includes neither. The key ones are scotch bonnet chilies, but when you merge it with this lovely baby here, which is the allspice, which is the key for jerk. For you, it's not jerk? It's not jerk. It's like saying you're giving me chicken soup, but it has beef in it, or it doesn't have chicken in there. It has to have the, the intellectual property of, of what the dish is. And if you're saying jerk, it either has to have the flavour or it has to be cooked with the flavour. Jamaican slaves originally used the method as a way to preserve meat. And so Jamie Oliver is actually far from the first British cook to change how it's used. We are the great culinary borrowers, so jerk today is a little more of a lax term where we just really mean a marinated spicy meat. In a Caribbean community in South London, we tested this latest interpretation of jerk. No, that's not real, my friend. Well, I eat it. But it, it's missing the jerk. It's like shepherd's pie mix. Here we go. Say jerk ham. We asked Jamie Oliver for his thoughts, but he's made no comment, unlike many a consumer tonight. Richard Pallor, ITV News.